Good evening, everyone. This weekend, we will be reintroducing singing by a cantor. Please note that the guidelines of the CDC and requirements by the Archdiocese of Chicago prevent congregational singing at this time. So please sing within your hearts. And let's stand together for our gathering song. Good evening, and welcome to St. Mary of Vernon. Special welcome to those visiting us this evening. And let us begin as we do all good things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The emperor's image on a Roman coin prompts Jesus' words, repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. We have created in God's image, we are created in God's image and offer God what rightfully belongs to him, ourselves. As we enter into this liturgy, let us ask forgiveness for the times we have not reflected God in our lives. Lord Jesus, you loved us enough to live among us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus. You loved us enough to die for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you love us enough to invite us to be with you always. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours, and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him, 
and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, give the Lord glory and honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all the peoples, his wondrous deeds. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods, for all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give glory to the Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give glory. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. <coughs> the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance and hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father. Knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord.
Alleluia, Alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. And they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. I would like to think that over the years, I've never really stopped learning, which is probably something that comes in helpful for a person who's made their living developing and delivering training to customers and employees. One of the things that I've realized more and more in the last 10 years or so is that no matter how much I prepare, for an important meeting at work. No matter how much study I do, how much research I do, how much prep I do, how much practice I do, inevitably, I'm always surprised when somewhere in the presentation, somebody who has more authority than I asks a question I hadn't even considered. whether it was about the financial side of things or the impact on people or even how it might relate to health and safety issues. And it's just over and over and over again in those situations, I've been frustrated by not having known all the answers, being surprised, being approached with an unsuspecting or unsuspected question. And to me, I think that almost puts me in the same camp as the Pharisees in today's gospel story. Because they plotted and schemed, Matthew tells us. They even decided to send some of their henchmen to see Jesus rather than facing themselves because, well, I think maybe they wanted the question to come from somebody new this time as they tried to trap him. And once again... Jesus comes up with an answer that nobody expected. Nobody could have seen coming. No one would have dreamed of. There is a constancy to Jesus' answer to those questions, to those people who tried to trap him in one way or another. His answer is always surprising certainly to those who he presented his answer to, but also to us so many years later who, when we find ourselves in similar situations, are kind of taken back by the answer or perhaps knocked off guard a little bit. God is constantly coming to us in unexpected words, in unexpected touches, in unexpected ways. God is constant like that. And we're the ones that vacillate and change 
and are surprised when God is God. Because God is so constant, that should never surprise us. But from time to time, it does. If you had asked me on September 23rd where I would be on November 1st, I would have said 1729 Nathan Lane in Libertyville. Somehow there was another plan at place, a surprise, an unexpected series of events. And while you may not have known it, and don't take this personally, Carol and I have been planning this move for a couple of years. But on September 24th, the dominoes started falling. We got an offer on the house. We got an offer to sell the house in 30 days, which we felt we could accommodate. And so our first move was, well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to find some place around here to rent and figure out what the next move is once things, the dust settles. But on a whim, on the 26th of September, we started checking out what was going on up in Madison in the housing market because that's where we wanted to be. Two days later, we visited eight homes up there, made an offer, and had it accepted. So while I'm here with you this evening, Carol is feverishly packing the kitchen as we scramble to get ready to move next Saturday. Totally unsuspected. Never in all my planning and scheming and plotting would I have expected a timeline to be so short and happen just so rapidly. Carol has mentioned a number of times as it was all unfolding, she could not believe how everything had just fallen into place. The journey will take us to be closer to where our children are and our grandchildren. And that's been a dream of ours for a couple of years. So uh, all of a sudden, it's happening just like that. Again, totally unexpected. And in some ways, a gift from God and a challenge as well. Talking with Mr. Wogan in the parking lot before Mass, he said, what the heck, it's only been 31 years of your life. I actually spent 41 years as a member of this parish. So that's like two thirds of my life I've been here. And so to step away from that is going to be challenging. One of the things that keeps me hopeful is the fact that there are about six parishes up in the area where we're moving to that are about 20, within 20 minutes driving time of where we're gonna live. So while I will always ask for your prayers for me, I will also ask that you pray for the unsuspecting parish that ends up with me and has to deal with the chaos that I bring into things. So I will join Paul and Sylvanus and Timothy in praying for the community of St. Mary of Vernon. And Carol and I give thanks to God, always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers and unceasingly calling to mind your great works of faith, your awesome labors of love. It has been my privilege to stand here in faith with you. Thank you. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. As followers of the Lord, we are invited to intercede for the world and we are promised that when we pray together, God hears us and is among us. Our response is, Lord, accept our prayer. For peace everywhere, for peace among the nations, among neighbors, within communities and families, for peace within our hearts, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For the church on this World Mission Sunday, for Christians in every land of every nation who pray in every language known on earth. For the grace we need to live as followers of Christ, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For our children who are receiving their first communion this month, may their enthusiasm for the banquet always be with them, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. I'm just reading what's here. For Mark and Carol as they leave St. Mary of Vernon, May they always know our love and appreciation for all they have given, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For the sick, for those who suffer without relief, for those who are dying, for those who are afraid to die, for the blessing of being a comfort to another, and for a stop to the spread of coronavirus in the world, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For those who have died, most recently for David Hemmerling and for Robert Michael. And for those who grieve the loss of someone dear to them, we pray. Lord, accept our prayer. For all of our own intentions. We pray. Lord, accept our prayer. God, our Father, as we gather together in your name, we ask you to hear our prayers and answer them. We pray as always through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, let us stand and pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of God's name. 
for our good and the good of all the God's holy church. Amen. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ the Lord. For by your word you created the world, and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator, and he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son, you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the, age, with all the angels, we proclaim your glory as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered together by his love. And when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and giving the chalice to his disciples, said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the offerings of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ, that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the days of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through the Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm in us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, 
may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not at our sins, but look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Spirit. And let's take a moment to responsibly and distantly share peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the body and blood of Christ, broken and shed for us. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life.
The announcements for this evening, prep key row classes begin on Zoom Sunday, October the 18th and Monday, October the 19th. Alpha Omega, a lot of Greek this evening. Alpha Omega Youth Ministry will, be, will have a kickoff event on Sunday, September the 25th from seven to nine. See details in the bulletin. Please read the bulletin for information on All Souls Day Mass the Knights Tootsie Roll Drive, Winter Clothing Drive, and Respect Life events and more. Thank you. Our farewell, our farewell to Mark. You may join me if you wish. As we say farewell, we thank you for your ministry as our St. Mary of Vernon first deacon and dear friend. Our prayer for you now and into your future is simple, but most heartfelt. May your ministry continue to be a powerful witness for all those you encounter. May you continue to share your love of the liturgy. May you always remember, as we will, your days shared with us. Ever gracious, ever loving God, we give you thanks and praise for the gift of Mark. Continue to bless the work of his heart and his hands. Accept the gratitude of all who have been touched by his life, his compassionate and all-embracing love for us and for all your people. May your blessing come upon Deacon Mark, our friend and brother, now and always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by, by what you give us in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, our Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for joining us. Have a great evening and enjoy the week. So
Okay, have a good evening. Bye bye. Enjoy the weekend. They do, but I don't. We are <laughs> poorest, we are hunger, we are Christian, <laughs> we are greed. Then how are we to stand in okay. all this world of bandit need? In nothing uh, more than barren shadows. No one else but he could save us. Who was justice for the poor? Who was okay. rage okay. against the night? Who Show.